What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Nash here. Welcome back to the channel. And as you guys can tell by the name, by the name of the title of this video, yes, I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts on Dean on Dean Ambrose not renewing his contract uh, after after his current one expires next month in April. And from what I hear, it will be after WrestleMania. Um, honestly, I honestly um honestly I'm a little sad about it because he's been a part of the WWE for for like six seven eight years you know you know you know for for, for approximately like maybe 10 years I'd say counting counting the previous uh, WWE developmental brand FCW or Florida Championship Wrestling and then NXT and being being on the main roster and whatnot I think this is in my opinion anyway I'm I don't know if the fan I I know you guys might not agree with me on this but I think it's I but I think this is this is what's best for for Dean Ambrose simply because you know he's a you know he's a three-time Intercontinental Champion he's the he's one of the longest reigning yet one one of the longest reigning United States champions of all time he's a money in the bank winner a WWE champion a, and you know he's done so much for WWE, you know whether it was as a babyface or even at, at, as a heel, that I think his time may have been up. Um, after what after what we saw this past Sunday at Fastlane, um, I, again they worked. I mean the Shield worked like a well oiled machine. Um, you know, you know, as if they never, they never miss a step. And again, it was indeed the final ride for them. But at the same time, I feel like it's if I feel like as if Dean Ambrose still has a lot more to prove in WWE. Um, but you know, but you know what? I've been, I have been hearing hearing rumors that um, that Dean Ambrose has ha actually has decided to renew his contract. After WrestleMania, but I am not sure about the rumors. Um, if the rumors are true, if the rumors are true that he is going to re-sign, honestly, that is absolutely incredible. It'll give the Shield, you know, you know, some extra room to, you know, for you know, for Seth Rollins to win the, you know, to win the WWE Universal Championship, you know, have. You know, have Dean Ambrose regain the 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 WWE Intercontinental Title, and then have um, and then have Roman and I guess Roman and Dean maybe uh, go after the Raw Tag Titles. They could pretend. I mean, if, the, if I mean if Dean Ambrose does renew his contract, they could go after all 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 the men's all the men's gold on Raw. But I have, but I've also been hearing rumors that Roman Reigns, as part of the Superstar Shakeup, will be going to SmackDown Live. Now, if that is true, honestly, that could really do do some damage for the Shield because Survivor with you know because with Survivor Series coming up this you know you know this coming November, anything can happen. Um, but if he doesn't renew his contract, if there's if there's if I met him face to face. And there was one thing that I would say to him. I w it would be simply thank you. Um, you know, thank you for your for everything you've contributed for WWE. Thank you for everything you've done for WWE for the fans. And you know, you know, and that I you know, I would wish him the best of luck in in his future and what the future will hold for Dean. And yeah, again, I, again, I feel like this was. I, I think this is what's best for, for Dean, seeing as how he's his booking. You know, you know the way that they that the WWE has booked Ambrose. You know, since you know since it, since his heel turn, heel turn. Um, you know, back in October, I feel like it's if it's, it, it 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 was just for no reason. You know, you know the way he booked the way the way they booked him as, as a heel, it just wasn't right. I, I feel like he he was better off as a babyface than as a heel because I think because he works a lot better as a babyface than a heel. Um. So yeah, that again, that that's just my my honest opinion on this. Um, again, again, we will see see what happens, but we do know that that Seth Rollins do, does indeed have a 
match against Brock Lesnar for the for the WWE Universal Title at WrestleMania. But from what I've been hearing, um, next week, obviously you guys know that next week's Raw will emanate from the Allstate Arena in Chicago. And from and, and from what I've been hearing, um, Roman Reigns has actually been removed has been removed from the card. So I guess I guess there was supposed to have been a like a huge like a I guess like like a huge six man tag or, or or something like that. But it came but it's now gonna be Ambrose and Rollins against McIntyre and Baron Corbin from what I've been hearing. So so yeah, I get our so yeah, so that is going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell if you guys are new to the channel for more for more content that is coming your way. And be sure to post in the comments below using the hashtag thank you, Dean, and, and give me your thoughts on, on, on this whole situation because I think, my, my opinion, this is what's best. And on that, this is your boy Nash signing out.